ultimate cheat day for you would be? Pizza. I love pizza or like fries or something. There's just one place in Colorado Springs that has like the most amazing French toast that just like melts in your mouth. And I'll get put that with like, I'll top it with eggs, cheese, and ham and just like drizzle it in maple syrup. And oh my gosh. My cheat day for food would definitely be pizza. I'm in Austin, Texas right now training, and Austin is full of your like cheat foods, really good cheat foods. They got great donuts, great barbecue. So being in California, In and Out is kind of the, the one of choice. LNL, we get some Hawaiian barbecue, is always fun as well. So, uh, so those are the ones I go for. Um, I mean, I think, I'm sure Gabby gave the same answer, but pizza, frozen yogurt or ice cream is um, definitely one of my favorites. I really like, like, frozen yogurt or like, I, even though that's not like too unhealthy, I really just like love that and maybe like pizza or something. Strawberry ice cream. When I tell you I sit on my couch, I get a quart of ice cream and I just act like track, what, spell it. Like I just act like track doesn't exist to me and then you gotta regroup because you're like, you, you, you'll cancel your whole season with this bad baby, so strawberry ice cream. I love macaroni and cheese. It's what I grew up eating. I don't know, it's just maybe a comfort thing. And there's a place in Lancaster, Commonwealth on Queen and they make this stuffed French toast. So they stuff it with cookie dough or cannoli, cannoli filling or just anything that's delicious. And they take two pieces of French toast they stuff that in the middle, they panini press it, and then I add ice cream to it. I get one cheat meal a week, and I look forward to that. I want cookie dough I, until I'm sick. I just want cookie dough. <laughs> I'd go out to breakfast, I'd get like French toast and pancakes, and I'd just, just drench them in syrup. Extra powdered sugar and probably some chocolate chips in there too. Um, lay on the couch for a few hours and hate myself. Then uh, for lunch, maybe get like In-N-Out or something, like a nice cheeseburger and a milkshake. Go back to hating myself on the couch, uh, grab some maybe some ch chocolate or some donuts in the afternoon, and then all you can eat sushi at, at night, and then work out for like eight hours the next day because I'd probably consume 6,000 calories. But I'd wake up and I have a big breakfast, so buttermilk pancakes, a lot of bacon, and then eggs fried hard, and so that would be for breakfast, and then for lunch, a freshly squeezed orange juice as well for breakfast. For lunch, I'd have a cheeseburger with a fried egg on top, more bacon, mushrooms, barbecue sauce, sweet potato fries as a side, and I'd have a strawberry banana smoothie. And then for dinner, I'd have a dozen oysters on the half shell. I'd have surf and turf. I have a filet mignon, eight ounce, medium well. And then I'd have a lobster tail, scallops, and a baked potato. And for dessert, I have creme brulee and a vanilla milkshake. That's all? And then I have cinnamon sugar donuts at about midnight just to make sure I could wash it all down.